Welcome back to the channel. I'm the principal painter, and as you can see, I got a new t-shirt. I think this is my t-shirt uh, uniform for tomorrow. I thought that was pretty funny. Just wanted you to see it. All right, today I have an unboxing for you from none other than, ooh, I'm gonna turn it over to hold you in suspense, from Diamond Art Club. Um, a lot of our companies right now are having shortages on diamond painting, number one, because of shipping and all of go what's going on, but also I think people are really bored in their houses wondering what to do. Uh, I know two to three of my teachers have started diamond painting during this time and are really enjoying it, which I'm really excited about. So, this particular painting I was not going to buy. I resisted, 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 and I'd looked at it, and Diamond Art Club is a temptress. So after I look at it, close it out, I'm gonna do other things, I get another email from Diamond Art Club. This would look great on your wall, and it's the same painting. I'm going, oh no, oh no, oh no, I gotta get it. So the reason I got this particular painting is it's a new artist to Diamond Art Club, and as a child, I loved potions. Any kind of secret potion, I loved it. I don't know why I was obsessed with that, but I was. So I'd literally go in my bathroom and get some sort of container and mix up toothpaste, nail polish remover, any kind of liquid I could find in the bathroom. And then I'd put it in the cabinet under the sink. And my poor mother, months later, would find these science experiments and go, what is this? It's horrible, it's smelling up the whole bathroom, what are you doing? But I love doing it. So, <clears throat> when I got this, it reminded me of that. And it's colorful, I've ordered sparklers from Tina Burney of uh, Painting with Sparklers with T-Mall to add into it. And so, let me flip it over. It is. The universe in a jar. I loved it. I just think it's colorful and fun and lots of potions going on. Telescope with a little professor standing there. All right, let's get into it. And this is the new packaging from Diamond Art Club. So everything you need comes, wait, I'm lying to you. Your toolkit comes separate from what's in the clear bag. It used to be an opaque bag, but now it's a clear bag. And you can tell it's a square kit because it comes with those tweezers. So you get a pen, a squishy, a clear boat with a spout, and tweezers. Let me open it up for you to see. Some people like to place their square drills with a tweezer, but I will tell you, these are sharp. Please keep them away from small children and keep that cap on or you will stab yourself. You will. Again, whoop, I'm dropping everything here. All right, so you got your baggies and you do get, I believe that's a six placer and two pieces of heart wax. All right, enough about the toolkit. Most of you have seen a Diamond Art Club toolkit anyway. Never mind, I'm gonna put these baggies over here to save time. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, the sticker is also on the outside. Is there anything? Nope, there's nothing else in the box. So here's the picture of the image. Isn't that cute? I do like little dragons. All right, let's get into the canvas. Now I'm ill prepared, do not have scissors with me. That's all right, this is pretty easy to open. Okay, Let's see what we got y'all. It's heavy guys, it's heavy. This is the first, I think it's the first one I've gotten with the opaque paper and I'll explain that in a minute. So, I know you wanna see the image. Here are the directions. If you're new to diamond painting, this is step-by-step -step instructions in diamond painting. So if you need those, they're here. And then a coupon code for 10% off your next purchase. And it comes with every kit, which is very nice. Okay, so I like that they're folding it or rolling it actually around the drills with the image on the outside. 
and they are also providing opaque paper in case you don't like the plastic. Some people don't like the plastic and that's okay. You can cover it in this. You can actually cut this into squares and it will not stick onto your painting. So what, whatever your preference, they have added this as an added feature, which I really like. So let me roll that up and here we go. Let's look at this image. Oh my God. It's so colorful and fun, people. Look at this. This is gonna be fun to do. I cannot work on it right away. I have too many projects in the queue, but I loved this. Pasting area, or the, the canvas size is a 56 by 64, so it's, it's big, but it's not unmanageable. And I love all these beautiful colors. That, that's what got me was the colors. And, and again, I always loved secret potions. So that is that. Let's get into these drills. Sorry about the crinkling, that always happens. Again, mute me if you don't like it. Oh my lord, oh my gosh, there are so many colors. So many colors. All right, let me get them all, get the trains going here. Oh, I see so many beautiful colors I love. All right, and let's, just for grins, look and see. Okay, there are three ABs, one, two, and three, 124, 130, 141. Um, as you experienced diamond painters know, if it's below 150, it's an AB. So there are three ABs in this kit. Cannot wait to see those. All right, let's start with the big ones. The big guns, 939. Got two bags of those. 829, again, a deep blue. 823, another deep blue. 3799, drill quality looks awesome. 301, a rust color. 400, another rust color. 334, pretty blue. 798, that's a periwinkle. That's so pretty. 300, a deep rust. 645, kind of a dark taupe. Ooh, 797, I love that color. It's kind of a cross between a purple and a blue, and not pretty. All right, next train. These are the medium bags, so here we go. Sorry, I got them upside down. All right, 38.55, peachy, yellowy color. 700, pretty green. Woo, here's an AB. Whoop, whoop. 141, it's the white. 906 and 907, more greens. 38.54, deeper peach. 33.25, kind of a powder blue. 6.47. 947, that's a pretty color too. Ooh, that green's pretty, 699, kind of a Kelly green. 977, 498, 3859, no, 3853, sorry. 3787, 3755, 775, that's pretty too. 796, that's a beautiful purple. Love it. 640, kind of a greenish, taupey color. 820, 820 and 796 look to be very similar, but I guess there's some differences. Chocolate brown, 844. And our last string. This is where we're gonna find our other ABs, folks. All right, 3607, pretty pink, 155 purple. 976, 3837, 601, 130, here's another AB, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Thank you to my cameraman for the action there. 550, deep purple, 3608, 3770, 
209 lavender 991 Ooh, that's a pretty that's a pretty green I like that 208 327 Ooh, pretty pink like a bubblegum pink 963 890 a deep green 938 666 <laughs> everybody's favorite 648 Kind of a tan, 814, and here's the last AB, it's pink, 124, it's a bubblegum pink with AB. And for those of you new to the community, AB means Aurora Borealis. The coating on these is just a little bit more sparkly and catches different lights to make the drills catch different colors. So they're just extra sparkly and fun. All right, those are all the drills. Again, the canvas is beautiful, very sticky, and this is going to be a very colorful painting. I'm so excited. One more thing I had to share with you, and I always like to promote great people and great works of art, is a lot of you have asked me about these Easter chicks in the background of what I shoot. These are actual dried gourds. They're not real gourds, so they're never gonna go bad. They're dried, and these are done by a very good friend of mine named Olga Leonard. She is a retired principal in my district, and she has a shop uh, called In Lou Designs. That's I-N, capital L-O-U, Designs. So if you want any kind of unique stuff, she will mail it to you. She is just a beautiful artist. I have so many works of hers that I love to put in my home to decorate for the holidays. She does every holiday conceivable. She does wreaths, everything else. So I wanted to put a plug into Olga. All right, that's what I got today, folks. So I am about to let you go. But I want to remind you, if you are new to the channel or just discovering it and liked this, please uh, feel free to hit subscribe if you'd like to. I'd love to have new subscribers. Always love uh, talking with and interacting with subscribers. And hit the bell to let you know whenever I'm posting another video. It's about every other day right now. It's pretty much the schedule, but you know, there could be more. Don't know, and I've got a collab coming up. So wait on that. All right, just gonna remind you, and I've forgotten in my last couple, but I'm gonna remind you in this one. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the principal, principal painter, can I say that? This is the principal painter, and I am signing off.